Hey, good morning, Beulah Church. It's Gabe here for another Monday morning devotional. I pray that you guys are all doing well uh, and that, you know, that you did experience the, the presence and power of the Holy Spirit yesterday at Pentecost. Um, I wanted to come on and share with you uh, just a quick little passage from the book of Mark, the Gospel of Mark, where uh, Jesus is actually sharing a story about, um, about a mustard seed. It's, it's you know, very commonly referred to just as the, the parable of the mustard seed, but I want to go ahead and read this um, and, and share about what's going on. So it's in Mark chapter 4, verse 30, if you wanted to follow along, whether you're watching today or uh, today this Monday or on another day, uh, Mark chapter 4, verse 30. So he says, again, he said, what shall we say the kingdom of God is like? Or what parable shall we use to describe it? It is like a mustard seed, which is the smallest of all seeds on earth. Yet when planted, it grows and becomes the largest of all garden plants, with such big branches that the birds can perch in its shade. With many similar parables, Jesus spoke the word to them as much as they could understand. He did not say anything to them without using a parable, but when he was alone with his own disciples, he explained everything. And so... Essentially, Jesus is using this story. He's using sort of the power of, of story to share principles and share what the kingdom of God is like, you know, what the kingdom of heaven is like. And in this instance, <clears throat> Jesus is talking about uh, a mustard seed. And, and he's kind of sharing this very short little story of how a mustard seed it grows into this big tree and like this big tree it provides all over the shade and these birds are able to come and and uh, sit on its branches and it's able to basically provide so much more uh, than maybe what one could see just by looking at a tree uh, and certainly more by what one could look at by sitting on you know or by just looking at a, at a tiny little seed and so Jesus, he, he shares this to essentially explain, you don't necessarily see all of what's happening in the kingdom of God right now. You know, you could maybe, you could maybe look at, you could maybe look down the street and, and see a church. You know, you could maybe look down the street and see like a ministry or, or a group of people. Uh, but there's so much more going on, you know, in their ministry. There's so much more going on uh, in their lives than we could ever know about, right? Like they're doing maybe so much more, like as, as the disciples maybe would look at a seed or someone would look at a seed and think, how could this little seed provide shade? Or how could something so small grow to be so big? You know, Jesus is asking us to understand that there are, there are many facets, there are many amazing things in the kingdom of God and it's so much bigger and it does so much more. There's so much more going on than what initially meets the eye. And I wanted to choose that devotional. I, I thought it was fitting to choose that devotional today uh, because, you know, when I'm done with this, when I'm done with this devotional, I'm gonna head into, head, head to the church and uh, we will be receiving a huge, well, relatively built large, like shipment of uh, garden bed supplies. You know, so we're going to be getting all of these boards uh, from this amazing place called Whole Heart Farms. And they've basically, uh, they basically helped us with a deal to buy uh, 10 garden beds worth of, of boards, you know, supplies to begin the process of building our community garden uh, down in the soccer field. And so I'm going to you know, be headed to the church and to, you know, to help unload all of that stuff. Uh, and I'm going to be thinking like, man, what could this community garden, you know, somewhere in the community, just by something as small and insignificant as, as a garden? And could God maybe use a, a garden to, um, to essentially, you know, bring the community together and, and bring people to his, his loving knowledge uh, at Beulah? And so I want to encourage you guys to think the same way. What might God be doing through something so small? What might God be doing through something that we don't necessarily initially see uh, all of the fruit of quite yet? And so I wanna encourage you, uh, as, as things are going on this week, just to sort of be paying attention to what might, 
you know, what might I be able to do to contribute to this community garden? Uh, if you're able to come help later on this week with getting the boards built, um, you know, you could just contact me and I would love to help you out with, with coming and, and getting some work done on it. So thank you so much uh, for tuning in and I pray that you all have an awesome week and I'm looking forward to sharing more about the garden with you at a later time. See ya.